Hey everyone, Taylor from Bridge Crew here, and I'm going to talk about our newest feature called Multi Cloud Drift Detection. So I bet you're wondering what Drift is. Drift is when you have infrastructure as code templates that you use to deploy infrastructure in the cloud, and somebody goes in and manually modifies that cloud configuration, either through the UI or the uh, CLI in your cloud. Now your infrastructure's code template is out of sync with the actual state or configuration of your cloud. That's really bad because your infrastructure's code template is now less useful. It no longer represents the real configurations in the cloud. It also means that if you go and apply that infrastructure's code template, you'll overwrite any manual changes. So that's really wasted effort. Uh, it's also bad because if you have um, disaster recovery event, you're not replicating that exact environment. So how does Bridge Crew's drift detection work? Well, what we do is it takes three different pieces. We take our your open source your tagging capability, and we take the automated tag called your trace that's added to each resource. And then we also take our integration with your with our different with different VCSs as well as our integrations with the three largest cloud providers, AWS, Azure, and GCP. Now, what it does is it takes that your trace and in the code, it identifies, here's the resource with that your trace, and then it matches it to the cloud runtime resource with the same trace. It converts the cloud configuration into Terraform, into HCL, so it can compare apples to apples between the Terraform stored in your repository to the Terraform code version of what's running in the cloud. And that way it can say, oh, a configuration has changed from your cloud to your repo. So let's take a look at what that's like. So here's my repository. And you can see I have a GitHub action that includes the your automatic tagger. Now, this doesn't have to be in GitHub Actions. It can be either run manually or in any CI CD pipeline. It just needs to tag your resources with that your trace ID. Now, if I go into my Terraform template, you can see it's a very simple template that provisions an S3 bucket. And here's those additional tags I've added. Here's that your trace that gives it that unique ID. Now, when I head over into my Cloud Console, you can see here's my test bucket that I created using that infrastructure's code template. And if I scroll down to the properties, I can see here's that your trace ID that matches what I have in code. And then I can see down here that I've gone ahead and made a manual change. So I've turned on encryption. Uh, now that's a good thing. I turn on encryption. That's what everyone should do. It's not the default in S3. Um, but it now means that my cloud configuration is out of sync with my code. So what I will have to do is I will have to take a look in our Bridge Crew platform. And if I'm in the properties in the projects page and I look for Drift under my repository, I can now see here's my S3 bucket. Here's what the resource configuration was in my cloud Terraform template. And then here's what it is running in the cloud along with the ARN for that resource. So now I can see that I've gone ahead and added in encryption. Now, like I said, that's not a bad thing. I should be adding encryption. I just should be doing it in code. I shouldn't be making that change in, in directly into my cloud console. So I could theoretically go in and do a Terraform apply. And this will bring it back in sync with, let me do this in US East one. This will bring it back in sync with my code after it refreshes the state. What it will identify is the difference. We will identify that there is an additional encryption. Here it is right here. You can see there's an encryption added. And what the Terraform apply would do is remove that now, I don't necessarily want that because I want encryption turned on. So an alternative is I can go back to my bridge crew 
uh, projects page, and I can do fixed drift. Now, if I submit that, what that's going to do is it's going to open up a repository pull request. So if I go in my pull requests or merge requests, if you're in GitLab, you'll see here's the fixed drift that I've added. And you can see we've automatically added this. And if I go to the files that have changed, you can see how it's brought it back in line. It's gone ahead and added in server-side encryption. Now that is bringing it back in line. So I, if I apply this, I'll no longer have drift and my code will be more secure because I'm using that uh, fix that I made even though I made it manually, it's something I want in my code for the future. And that way, if I take this template, it's back in line with what's in the running in the cloud. And that's our multi-cloud drift detection. Now you can try this out for yourself with our 14 day trial at bridgecrew.io. And you can cause some manual changes in the cloud and see what drift detection is like. Thanks for watching.